Howdy folks, this is Checkers, and this, this is Pine. Pine is pretty interesting, although I don't know that the audio quite sticks the landing at the moment, but that's probably an easy patch fix. Pine is an open world game. Before we get started, let's take a look at something. If you are a PC player who's prone to remapping keys as I am, well, there is quite a bit to remap. Camera and mouse speed. You can do general, melee, ranged, movement, aiming, and you can remap to the numeric keypad, which is awesome. All right, we are going to save and bounce out and start a new game. We are now free and clear to navigate. And a little white dot above someone's head indicates we can interact with them. Hey, Hugh. How are you, Mesp? Just a bit nervous for today's celebrations. Nervous? Yeah, I'm afraid I won't see Can as often after he moves in. I'll miss him. Don't worry, it's not like he'll be far away, right? What if the freedom gets to him and he'll go travel and all that? Oh no! Alrighty. So it's telling us to sprint and sprint we shall. And this is Marla. Ah, you. Ah, Hugh, there you are. We are almost done with the preparations. Ilma and Edwin asked for some more resources for the treehouse. I would ask your brother, but I can't find him anywhere. Even more resources? Yes, yes, not sure what exactly, but please go see them. Off you go. Like a herd of hue. Alrighty. Bye, Pope Emmer, Hugh. Right on time, Hugh. It's not can go, Hugh. We wanted to call the treehouse done, but the rock it stands on are so brittle. We wanted to consult with Gary, but he wouldn't listen. Could you get us more stiff rope and stuff cloth for some extra fortifications? Gary should be able to help you with marwood and stiff rope, and I believe Luya was folding some stuff cloth near the washing spot. I'm on it. Once again, off like a herd of you. Hey there, fella, what you doing? Afternoon, Hugh. Just checking in on the Death Stones here. Well, what a cheery activity you're engaged in. I shall be off. Alrighty, this is Gary. Hugh, I'm a bit busy. Can I help you? Ilma and Edwin need some more stiff rope to fortify the house. Even more? Stiff rope doesn't grow on tree. Oh, well, you know what I mean. The tree house is not stable enough, they said. Nonsense, our houses are as strong as ever. <clears throat> well, if they insist. I'm much too busy preparing for the ceremony, but you can use the marwood on the crate to make some stiff rope yourself. Tell them this should definitely do it can't wait for today's celebrations. 
You've received an idea. These are concepts of items that you can create yourself. Open your menu with Escape and go to the Crafting tab to craft ideas when you have the required resources. Continue. Alrighty, so we go to Crafting, and we now have Stiff Rope, and we can see we need two Marwood, and we have zero, so we shall grab this and come here, click on that, and then hold down E. That is one of the things that can't be remapped, that E there. Actually, I'm used to an exit being on that side as well, but anyway. Ah, uh, you are just standing here. Can I'm finally... Wait, I'm very excited to finally move into our new treehouse today. Must be great to be able to withdraw from the communal life a bit more once in a while, to have our own place. I'm happy for you, Can. Well, who doesn't want a treehouse? What is this? Gravel moss. Well, now we have gravel moss. That all wonder at our quantity of gravel moss. Hi, Luya. Hey, Hugh. Hi, Luya. Do you have some more stuff cloth for the treehouse? Oh, I'm too busy with today's laundry, I'm afraid. Did anyone ever teach you how to make stuff cloth yourself? Perhaps you can craft it for Edwin and Ilma. Perhaps we could. We could find some things and get stuffed. All right, let's see here. So we open up our main menu with escape. We go to crafting. We click on the stuff cloth idea. Hold down E to create and stuff cloth we now have. Bring the resources to the construction site, and so off we go. Now, up in the upper left there, we have health in red, and underneath that in blue, we have energy, which we are draining as I sprint and run, and, well, in general, do anything. Let's interact. Thank you, Hugh, in a very convoluted sentence. Well, let's hope this does the trick. It will have to do. Our trees haven't been growing as fast as they should. Even so, Marwood will be in short supply. Or so even Marwood will be in short supply. Then perhaps it's time to explore the lands below, says Ilma. Edwin quietly mumbles to himself. Marla, we are not going into the out to find more. We all know that's not an option. Ilma says ellipses, as does Edwin. In any case, today is about celebrating the completion of this wonderful new treehouse. Let's wrap this up and have the ceremony. Hugh, can you find your brother? I can't find him anywhere. Can you get him and bring him to the ceremony? He's probably in his corner drawing out all that nonsense. Yeah, I didn't read that one quite right, but yeah, no. And here we... F what is this? A grand cone. Use keypad plus. Okay, so we can jump over things. You can actually jump pretty high. No, no, no. Hey, Hugh! Gary had me carry logs around all day, so I retreated for a bit. I think I just spotted another one of those white and slimy creatures below. If you squint your eyes hard enough... No, no thanks, I'm good. <laughs> you should never look away. There's so much to explore and to see. Well, not if it's up to Marla and Gary. Ah, all they're concerned about is their treehouse and ceremonies. There must be more to the world than this, right? Uh, about that ceremony, it's starting soon. They wanted me to come and get you. <sighs> well, there's still some time. Remember that strange construction I found that I told you about? I think I have an idea on how to open it. I don't know, Mom. You know what Marla says about straying too far from home. Ah, come on. There's still some time before the ceremony. Meet me at the harvesting site whenever you're ready, and I'll show you. What 
could possibly go wrong. Some marohe. Don't know what that does or what it is exactly, but now we've got it and we shall flee with it. Wait, we're fleeing the wrong way. Now we flee the right way. Let it never be said we can't flee the right way. A mom, I knew you'd be interested. Well, I'm doing this for you. We should quickly eat something before we go exploring. Grab some of the meager yam over there. They'll replenish your energy in no time. All right, so we are down a little bit of energy. And we can grab up some meager yam. While adventuring, always keep an eye on your energy. Everything you do will deplete your energy little by little, so eating is vital to keep up your efficiency. You can eat any food you find in the world to replete your energy. Pin one item to your pin slot to select it for a quick bite by holding, in my case, keypad minus. Your mileage will definitely vary. Eating is done by pressing it quickly while in game. And some more meager yams. Wait, what is this? Well, more food, you say? Who am I to not steal more food? What does the village need food for? All right. Hold keypad plus, or minus, and meager yams it shall be. All right, let's go and see what we can find. We'll be back before Marla even has her ancient head turned. Last one there has to eat two bowls of Marla's stews. <sighs> well, yeah, if you're going to lock me there while he runs away, of course he's going to beat me. All right, here it is. I cleared away some of the bushes and found that round thing hanging there. And I figured we'd probably have to hit it with something, but throwing a rock didn't do the trick. So behold, I made this slingshot. I'll let you do the honors. Let's see what happens. You have both a melee and ranged weapon slot at all times. Swap between the two using keypad, period, in my case. Your mileage, again, will vary. Use right mouse button to draw your ranged weapon. Uh, I had trouble with this before. And left mouse button. There we go. To release it. So. There we go. And in we go. It has a little bit of flavor of fable Whoa. to it. Whoa. Let's see what we'll find. I mean, just in the sort of... Mm, kind of pleasant, charming art style. A oh, mom, wait! All right. In we go. What is that? Well, there's something in there, but I don't know what. All right. Ah. Hey, yo, and you. Oh, Mom, check it out, Hugh. This looks like a real adventuring tool. There's another one. You should grab it. An old pine wood sword. Try some sword fighting with a mom. Look, if you swing it a few times, you'll look really powerful. When you have a melee weapon equipped, press the left mouse button to perform a light attack. Switching to melee. And some light attacks. Let's not clobber our brother. And if you hold it behind your head for a bit and then release, you'll do a much heavier attack. And release the left mouse button. Whoa. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Kind of new at this. And we could kick in between attacks, and those slimy white creatures won't have anything against us. Press keyboard zero to perform a kick, and then knock enemies off their feet. What if we combine dashes with swings? Endless possibilities. Okay, that's my sprint key, and... Whoops! Well, we'll grab that. Didn't need that box anyway. Oops. I'll get this. Eventually I'll figure it out. 
There we go. Got it. Check this one out. Um, a mom? I don't think that's... That was not good. Can we... Maybe they're just training, like training dummies? There's four of them, anyway. Um, a mom! Are you alright? I'm fine. I lost my balance. <laughs> Whoops. That was exciting, but now I'll need to get out of here. Can you see any way out? There's a wooden door with a small note next to it. It, it says... Left, left, right. Any ideas? I'll see what I can find. Oh, we found a torch. And a couple of targets we can switch. So it was left, left, right, right. Right, it worked. Let's see if I can open yours now. And so it seems he has. Whew. I'm glad we got out of there. What do you say? Want to go a bit further? I, I don't know, Mom. That was pretty close. We're both still here, right? Come on. Let's eat some food if you have any and we can get going. All right. Oh, Mom. All right. Torch. Hey. Go forth and hang out in the trees by the fire. And then I shall leave. Check this out, Hugh. Those figures look like humans. And that tall one, whoa. He must be an adventurer who came from the out. And he seems to have left them again at some point. Could they be... The humans of our cliff? Our ancestors? That can't be true. We have never been in the out, right? Well, who else would have made this drawing? It looks like they closed off this cave behind them. Hugh says things. Don't you get what this means, Hugh? It means humans were in the out at some point. We can return there someday. There must be more to those lands than the scary creatures we're told of, right? We should tell Marla what we found. And we should hurry to the ceremony, I think. You go ahead. I want to stare at this for a bit longer. I'll, I'll be right behind you. Uh-huh. Let's see what's up here. And another torch. And... Oh, got to switch weapons. Dull rock. And Roseberry. Alright. Now, return to the tribe. Off we go, like a herd of hue. Back into the outside world. Oh, hi, Marla. <laughs> we weren't in there. Yes, yes, we were. You are incorrigible, Amam. But taking young Hugh with you? Mother knows what could have happened in there. You know you should never leave the perimeter. Sorry, Marla, but we discovered that we... De I have no interest in whatever nonsense you found. You are very well aware that this was off-limits and that we should stay inside the village like we always have. But that's exactly... Now get back to the village. You are already late for the ceremony. Everyone is waiting for you too. You were right, little brother. She wasn't happy about that. We really do have to tell her about what we saw, though. Unless she maybe already knows. She's been here much longer than we have. 
Only one way to find out, but first, let's hurry to the ceremony. All right. Off to the ceremony we go. Wait, wait, wait. Gravel moss. You know, I mean, if there are things to grab, grab them. All right, now that we're all finally here, the ceremony can officially begin. Thank you, Marla. As a tradition, I'd like to thank everyone for their efforts. It took a bit more work and resources than usual, but we did it again. Our new house stands tall and strong. We shall continue to expand our village. Our next house shall stand right next to this one and will be even bigger and more beautiful. I would now like to call forth Ilma and Khan to officially claim this treehouse as their own. <laughs> and after that, we feast! And there was much rejoicing. Woo! Time for stew! Oh, I think I'll throw up if I smell another bowl of that dry stew of hers. I don't see why Gary is so obsessed with it. It's almost like he wants these ceremonies just for the stew. He sure eats a lot of it. Would you look at that? Another round wooden tree house. Aren't we creative? Mother forbid trying anything new for a change. If I ever become chief, we definitely try something new. Oh, a mom spoke the words of heresy, trying something new. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. That's going to leave a bigger mark. Um. Um. Dude, wake up. Dude, wake up. You, you have no idea what that thing's going to think married is in this culture. No. Hey. I don't think you can do that unless you buy it dinner first. Uh, hi? You've come from above, have you not? I always did have a hunch something must be brewing up in that cliff. Never did I dare to imagine it would be humans. Dangerous place, that cliff. Here we call it the Unstable Cliffs, for good reason. I can imagine the shock, fella, but you're not dreaming. Both of us might be trapped. Follow me. Ah, a nose for adventure. All right. I'm not not looking around for things that we can pick up. Key graphite. Anything with green glowy bugs above it is probably something you should grab. Let's see, we've got wood. And I have no idea what any of this stuff... Well, the wood, we know it makes rope, but I actually don't know what any of the other stuff does. So, here we are. 
off. I had the bad luck of being here when that rumbling started. I, I'm sorry, but who are you? The name is Oth, one of the Tambas. We travel, we study, we practice politics, and sometimes we are stuck. <laughs> I need to get this bridge fixed to get my Alpafent back up there. So here's a suggestion. You get me some marwood and stiff rope for the bridge and some food for my Alpafent, and she's hungry. And I'll get you something for that blockade, as I think that's going to be your way up. It looks pretty sturdy, but I've recently invented a thing just for that. Alrighty then. So we need marwood, we need five, or one, we've got five, we need two stiff ropes, and we need six Karens. So let's make our stiff rope. Stiff rope I. And we still have three marwoods, but I see more. We'll grab it all. The key success in your average role-playing game. Grab everything that isn't nailed down. Carrot. Let's see what that is. Carrot, a healthy, small vegetable growing on tall plants, somewhat energizing, found in forested areas. Stiff rope, a crafted braided thread used to bind objects together when crafting. Key graphite is a dark grit which, when compressed, forms intricately shaped and solid items. Roseberry, a common tiny sweet fruit that grows on specific bushes in the Wedgwoods. Dull rock, a common type of rock used for crafting a wide variety of, tool, variety of tools. Marwood, a small log, easy to process for crafting a variety of tools and gear. Common wheat, a common and important cereal eaten by most species of albumare, found on its lower plains. I think we already looked at meager yam, but I don't remember. An edible, not very tasty vegetable that grows low on the ground and around the wedge woods. Marrow hay, oh, we picked this up by a mom. A soft grass that, when bound, creates strong structures, finding this in lower grassy areas. Grand cone. Cones of the common conifers of the Wedgwoods. They are to be found near large logs. And finally, gravel moss. Moss that grows on low rocks in and around Wedgwoods. Uh, oh, we have clothes. Gatherer's tunic. Mom's slingshot. Simple handmade slingshot you got from your brother. Sling pebbles. An infinite source of small rocks to shoot with. Infinite is good. Old pinewood sword. A small handmade pinewood sword you got from the dark cavern under your home. Oh, there's a glossary, too. Cool. All right. So, we've got our Marwood. We've got... Oh, we need another stiff rope. So, we go back to crafting. We go to stiff rope. And we create. And now, we need three more carrots. What do we have here? More Marwood. And uh, it's really quite charming. I love the colors. Um, all right, they're off. There we go. Neither of us are strong enough to actually rebuild this, but I can find someone who can. Here's something to get you inside that cave. It's called an explosive keg, and it's not subtle. Hit it with some projectile, and it'll blow right up. Be careful with it. All right, use a keg to enter the cavern. Okay, oh. You can deploy certain items into the world using key, well, in my case, keypad minus. Explosive keg can be detonated by shooting at it. So there is our explosive keg, a highly unstable brew that reacts on impact. Any impact will cause a large explosion that can pierce any armor and remove fragile structures. That's some serious explosives. All right, explosive keg. We switch from melee to ranged. Target. And fire. All right. Well, thanks. Off. I'm off. Uh, let's switch back to melee. Just because we're going underground. And then switch right back to ranged. 
as we find an elevator with a target. And up we go. Well, let's get off because I don't know how long it'll... Wow, stay there. Okay, torch. And jump. And torch. And let's take a look at our food. We've got some meager yams. Let's have a meager yam. Our energy was getting a little bit low. Hello. That does not look friendly. What? It doesn't seem too friendly. I'm guessing this is the white slimy creature. I wish a mom was here. He would know what to do. I'll have to fight it. Yes, yes, you shall. All right. Well, when a target is close enough, you can use mouse button three to focus on them. I typically don't like things focused. I would rather be running around like a fool. Whoa. Oh, right. Weapons. Um. Hey, now. No idea how I did that jump, but that was kind of cool. None of that. None of that. A bleaker antenna. All right. I'll... Oh, I just ate. Well, I was probably wounded anyway. Bleaker antenna. A slimy antenna of a deceased bleaker critter, which still seems to hold some of its conducting capabilities. Oh. Uh-oh. What's this? Litter essence? What is litter essence? A soul-like fragment of a litter organism. Well, fine, be that way. There's a little torch. Cool. Place. Can do. More torches. The lighting designer must have light. All right. Let's... No, no, there we go. All right, in case you're not familiar, I'm a former theatrical lighting designer. I'm not talking about whoever made the game. Um, let's see where this goes. This is right where we met Marla. Is there anything down here we need to grab or could grab or don't fall off the cliff? That would be pretty cool, not falling off the cliff and all. All right, so then the harvesting area is right here. And there's something over there. Gravel moss, got some of that. I like the jump. It's a it's a good height to a jump. Uh hi. Oh mother's mercy, you are safe. We thought we lost you too for a moment. Uh oh. Are you hurt? How did you get back out? Did you did you fall into the all the way into the out? I'm I'm fine. My head hurts a little bit. But I met this wondrous creature, Oth. He lives in the out. I feared as much. Did it attack you? Did it hurt you? No, no, it was very kind. He helped me get back here. He also knew about the bad state of these cliffs. Where's a mom? I have to tell him about what happened. Um, well, Hugh, the collapse wrought terrible havoc. Luya, Edwin, and Iam did not survive, and neither did he, Hugh. What? No, but he must have gotten away, right? He jumped away. He must be down there. We found him, Hugh. He must have pushed you away from the danger. We are so sorry. I don't believe you. He must be around. A mom is strong. Find a mom at his lookout. This is his map. He was going to map the whole world.
you. Pet and chip nok sarin ta pero po. You, please come back to town. We know what you're going through. Ndi hauraks be haya to book ta hobrene. We have to start rebuilding. We will need everyone's help in that. A mom would have helped too. No, a mom would have made sure we would have found a better place to live than these cliffs. Hugh, there is no other place to live. The out is not an option. It never has been. That's not true. We told you humans were in the out before. Do not believe those nonsense drawings you see. We are too weak to simply walk into the outskirts. Please come back to the square, Hugh. We will figure it out. Welcome to Pine. New quest, first humble steps. You now have a mom's map. Use home, which is my key, to open and close it. Your next goal is an exploration objective. The objective can be found somewhere inside the marked area. All right. Well, it looks like it's off that way. And we gathered up all the goodies when we were down here with Auth. So let's see where we go from here. You are now in the exploration area. This is reflected on your compass. The goal is nearby. What is that? Um. Hello? Or goodbye? Puffle egg. Well, I'm guessing that's a puffle then. And these are eggs. What is this? Nothing. There's nothing there. Oh. So it's pink when it's been picked. I think these nodes re-spawn. King of flowers. So what did we what did we get? We got ting flower and currant and puffle eggs. And there's some more wood here. There's something over there. And torches. And Karen, new area discovered shore cliffs. What is this? Hmm. Find off. Where did off go? Auth is down there. I got carried away. Got excited. Places to go. Things to explore. Back so soon, are we? <laughs> you look concerned, as far as I can tell with you humans, anyway. Something terrible happened. Oh my, another landslide? Ha ha. Ha. Huh. We can't live on that cliff any longer. I need to find help. We need to move. Hmm. A new place to live. That might not be that easy. This island is full of creatures much stronger and smarter than you or me. Well, smarter than you at least. You see, all those tribes are fighting over territory and food. It's quite the mess sometimes. In fact, I was just here observing some of the villages because I don't even know who's occupying them at this very moment. Could be the Crockers, could be Litters, could be Caribbeans. 
Here's my suggestion. Look for caches known as donation boxes. They're used by all species to share and gift resources to each other in perilous times. I think that if you make an offer to a village and then find that village, they might let you in, or even be able to help you. Okay, I will try. I think that's supposed to be Hugh there. To be fair, I have very little business with all this. Us Tombas, we're just observing, learning, studying from the comfort of our little house. I'll mark it on your map in the center of the island, in case we ever need you. Well, alrighty then. Thanks, Oth. Your affinity relationship with species are tracked in the pause menu. Escape. Donation boxes can be found near villages along roads leading to them. When donating, the items will be transferred to the regarding village, while also affecting the relationships with all creatures of that kind. You can find donation map boxes on your map. Um, home? Wait. No. Where's home? Mm, I don't know if that's home or not. Oh, we can put markers down. That's cool. All right, let's bounce out. I don't know if it's telling me the home key is my... Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I don't think there's anything I can do about this. I'm guessing there's some way to interact with that, but maybe that uh, antenna we found... Some more marwood. Uh oh. I don't like the look of that. Replenish some health. Quick food to replenish some health. This guy is not joking around. I mean, I'm not very good at this either, but. Alright. Well. Marwood. Sandstone. Uh, the hay. Alpafent something or other. Our pouch is full. Oh, that's a bummer. Wait, dull rock. We have some of that already, I think. So we can probably pick that up. Common wheat, we have that. Alpafent leather. Well, let's see where we are. We need food, so let's have some of that. And then we're now we're near healed, so what else do we have in small quantities? Ting flour. And ting flour. Leather seems handier than sandstone, although I don't really know. A gatherer token. Pouch full. All right, well. Let's mosey on down the road and see. Become friendly with any of the species on the island. Use a donation box to gift items to any village. There's a bunch of eggs. Huh. Do we actually have a destination? I don't think we do. Well, let's go see what's out in the big wide world. There's more of them puffles. No, of course, puffles. There's a 
thing. And Fiscus Orb. I guess... Wait, there's one of those guys that attacked us. He came from this way. There's another one. Let's get up here. I don't know what their hostile range is. Well, pretty long. You kind of jumped over him, you. Oh, so that's what the green is, huh? Ooh. The other way, Hugh. Come on, Hugh. Alrighty. Well, stuff cough, pouch full. Gather a token. Wait, we have one of those. We can probably grab that. Stuff cloth. What was that? Sandstone. What's the box? Fexel essence. Well, let's see what's down here. If we can find one of these donation things, maybe we can back these dudes off us. Meager yam. Well, let's grab meager yam. All right. Let's see here. There's more stuff, but it's pink. I would say that looked like a donation box. I would say we also need to eat something desperately. Eggs, probably good. Whoa, eggs are awesome. Um, donation box, sure. Have some wood. Okay, uh, something turned green. Um, let's give them some of these vegetables let's give them all of them and then confirm trade with E we're neutral alright I can handle neutral let's uh, give them some rocks and some more wood let's try food food's pretty good eggs pretty good what about oh wait here they don't want those things. They do want these things. Oh, I used up the roseberry. Well, here's one of these. Confirm trade. Okay, so we're pretty much neutral. Neutral. Let's see what happens. And we'll explore down here, and that will probably wrap up our penny tour. Well, on the plus side, this guy's not attacking us. Aten. Well, have I ever? Are my eyes deceiving me? A human in flesh and bone? Forgive me for the expressed consternation, but it has been decades since anyone saw a human on this island. What do they call you, young one? My name is Hugh, and I've come from well, the unstable cliffs. My tribe can no longer live there, so I've come to find refuge. I donated to your village, hoping to get help. <laughs> that I live to see this day. I admire your courage, Hugh. But a place to live, that is not in my interest, I'm afraid. I have plenty of mouths to feed, as does everyone on the island. However, your donation did not go unnoticed, and I thank you for that wholeheartedly. Not everyone will share the peaceful interest that I have for humans. And you look weary and unprepared for what seems to be a burdensome task. I shall have our village trader retrieve an old shield from our stock, one that should fit your hands. Perhaps explore our village in the meantime, as there should be plenty to learn for a creature like you. The shield should be ready when you are ready to leave. A shield? Hopefully I'll be able to handle it. Haha, <laughs> you've gotten this far. I shall also think about what you can do to reach your goal. It is high time someone or something stirs up the daily grind on Albamare. 
Waha. Come see me when you've received your shield. All right, well, let's see what we've got in the neighborhood here. Lokaz, the other day we had a crocker in our village. It scared me. So. Whoa, this is quite the tower. I can see them on the horizon. It seems to indicate the wealth and population of this village. Do the flames on top indicate their size, perhaps? The totem of a village represents the species and the strength of the village that occupies the territory. Gatherers from the village constantly collect food from the area around the village and bring it to the totem. Food is essential for producing new population and restoring health of villagers when fighting. And there we've got population, food, and materials. Oh, they've got little beds. What is this? What an intricate mechanism of wheels. It seems to display the relationships between these creatures. Looks like those in red are their foes. Green means allies. White is neutral. The discs on the board will turn every time an affinity action is performed by species on the island. Relationships between species are dynamic and change often. Okay. Oh, yes, they do. They just turned. And what do we have here? You must be the traitor. Yuck! I've had my share of strange creatures pass by my shop, but none like you. Then again, experience tells me the stranger the looks, the deeper the pockets. When they said a human would come by, they didn't prepare me for someone this fragile. Fragile? Well, yes. I don't think there are people on Albamere that could not break those arms of yours. Best thing I got for you is some ideas that you could fit to your size. You will find your way, I'm sure. I'll modify that shield they've sent for you to fit your hand. I'll leave it here for you to pick up soon. Come trade with me afterwards, but only if we're friends. The village trader will barter items that gatherers and traders have accumulated. They also have special items such as ideas. Gatherers from the village constantly collect materials from the area around the village and bring it to the trader's table. Materials are essential for producing armor and expanding the village. Village traders are also marked on your map. Traders will only trade with you if you are friendly with their species, not even when you are only neutral. All right, let's see, collect the chief's gift. Interact. All right, this looks sturdy. Enough loitering, I should ask the chief for some more pointers. Shields can protect you from incoming attacks. Entering a blocking state, or enter a blocking state by pressing right mouse button, that's, well, that could be anybody, I guess. You can't hold up your shield forever over time and through incoming attacks, your shield stamina will deplete. Some attacks cannot be blocked at all. Aside from stamina, different shields have different exhaustion rates and regeneration speeds. So how do we equip our shield? Well, no, that was eating. Equipment. Equip. There we go. Well, let's not draw our weapons out here in town. That's probably not polite. Wow. They've got a lot of stuff. Who are you? Slozlav. What a lovely day. Yes. I'm glad you found the shield, young human. Still, you look like a brittle ting flower I could snap in half before breakfast. I asked around a bit, and I realized there is someone more capable than us to help you with gearing up. Oh, who's that? The name is Grob, one of the Manoth. Nobody has seen them for ages, but apparently he's still alive. Word has it that he resides in the Pollen Pass between the shore cliffs and sparse fields. Finding him might not be easy. But he has enough experience with human gear to at least give it a shot. I I'll try and find him. Thank you. Surely you will. You got this far, Boaha. Good luck, human. Gearing up. Alrighty. Well, this is Pine. 
take a look here. So that they're leading us over there now. And uh, yeah, I dig the I dig the art style. I find it uh, the combat was a bit more challenging than I thought it would be. I mean, I'm not really very good at at um, this sort of thing, but you know, I dig it. Alrighty, folks, I would like to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you found our penny tour of Pine entertaining and maybe even just a little bit informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe and thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. I'd also like to invite you to like and to share if you so desire. Most of all, though, I would like to ask you to please, please take care.